today's video we've got something a little bit different. We're going to take a look at the Apocalypse Generator model number APOC01. I made the Apocalypse Generator just over a year ago for a friend. They liked my bits of generator that I'd built to run with my stationary engines. The original plan was for it to just to have the meter and the panel lamps and a couple of switches and that would be about it. But then it seemed a shame for it not to have a few more features. So it gained an Arduino with an MP3 player module. And a four character LED display. A vintage 10-way switch for selecting different display and sound options. It seemed silly for it not to have a USB charging socket, so it had one of those as well. And then we thought it would be nice if it had a countdown timer function. So with the 10-way selector and this switch here, in position 1, you have a 1-minute timer. In position 2, it's a 2-minute timer. Position 3, it's 5 minutes. Position 4, 10 minutes. And so on, up to 1.5 hours. When the countdown timer gets to the end of its countdown, it sounds something like this. And that carries on until you turn it off again. The 10-way selector switch has a series of resistors on the back, and nothing will happen when you turn it until you switch one of the other switches off and back on again, and then, then it'll sample where the switch is on the resistor matrix and run the appropriate program, and that goes for the sound as well. I managed to find a rather nice 1955 Marconi voltmeter to put in the project and it does look rather good. For the panel lights I used the same method that I used on my bits of generator. These are compression joint stop end fixings and uh, they've got a section ground out at the bottom for the light to come out of and then they've got a LED G4 bulb stuffed inside and it works really well. In the side here there's an old valve or vacuum tube that's illuminated by an LED under its base and that remains on all the time until you turn the main power switch off. There's a speaker in each side. They were taken from an old iPod dock that had failed. The overall look was meant to be reminiscent of old industrial equipment and the kind of things you used to find in disused nuclear bunkers. Inside the back of the machine, it's a little bit of a rat's nest of wires, but it's functional. There's the power supply here. The Arduino itself is tucked right away at the front of the unit. You've got the two speakers here. There's a bit of copper pipe with an LED in it here that illuminates the vacuum tube or valve at the side. You've got a matrix of resistors to get the voltage to read correctly on the voltmeter. The display is at the front here and there's a connector block that all the switches terminate into. The sequence you'll have seen at the beginning was the apocalypse mode. If I press this switch here, it'll do a one minute countdown and then all hell will break loose. There are sirens and general sounds of destruction, followed by industrial sounds of generators and electrical arcs. Then you get vintage communication systems and teletype machines. And finally ending up with dripping water and sonar sounds. I think that's all for this video. If you've enjoyed watching, feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel. There'll be more retro and vintage stuff coming soon. 
So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a future video.